everybody. Um, so I've had a few people asking about the biogas scrubbers, and last week VJ left a comment asking if I could just do a little video and explain more. So here it is. Before we get into the kind of how to set these up with the digester, I just want to go into a little bit about the kind of the why we need to do it. So when we put all our food and the manure and things into the biogas digester, we're digesting in an anaerobic environment, so without oxygen. And all those carbon, hydrogen, other elements that are in those food and manure items are going to get turned into either sediment or into some kind of gas as well. We're interested obviously in the uh, the methane but most of the time when you're producing biogas you're getting methane carbon dioxide and hydrogen sulfide um, hydrogen sulfide is only a little bit but that is a, a kind of a, a quite a nasty gas it can one it attacks your mucous membranes and also it is corrosive to, to metals and things like that so if it's in your gas system in your system your cooking system anything like that over time it'll attack anything that you're you're using and it will corrode it away so it means that those things won't last as, last as long so what we want to do is we want to purify the gas remove the hydrogen sulfide and the carbon dioxide carbon dioxide we want to remove because it just means the gas burns better so how do we do that well we do that with water some kind of dehydration thing here we've got cat litter and then we've got iron iron wool so the water is to mainly get rid of the carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide will dissolve in water. Um, you may hear about the acidification of the oceans because of the increasing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So the, the water acidifies, um, forms carbonic acid, um, bicarbonate, um, with some free hydrogen ions. Anyway, a bit technical. Probably you can't hear me right around because of the rain behind us right now. Let's maybe just wait for this shower to finish. So we have our our water taken out the carbon dioxide. It also takes a little bit out of the hydrogen sulfide, but um, that is not the main aim for the water. And obviously we pass the gas through the water, we want to take out any moisture, because moisture also, water will also corrode any kind of metal it comes into contact with. So to do that, we're using cat litter. Um, other people use silica gel, but cat litter is cheap and freely available, uh, even where I am anyway. Um, and then lastly, we have the wire wool or steel wool now that's what reacts with the whole hydrogen sulfide to remove that so after the the gas coming in in these two here removing the carbon dioxide taking out any moisture and then removing the hydrogen sulfide the stuff that comes out and then goes to the the, the storage tank should be purified methane now it won't be a hundred percent it's more likely to be kind of close to 80 or 90 but that is that'll get you a nice blue flame okay my digester is in a bit of a state at the moment because I've essentially decommissioned it for winter um, it was it was taking too much to costing too much to heat it so <clears throat> anyway so this is my in this is the um, airlock thing for the out pipe and this, this is my this is where the gas comes out so that's where we're gonna put the um, first line for the scrubbers. Okay, so we have, I actually have two, two pipes with caps attached. Uh, one that could go either side, but I'm only using one because it's going into the water It doesn't matter that one of them is not attached because the water is essentially sealing it So I'm just going to take this stopper cap off That goes onto there. It's got a really nice fit so now the gas is going out out of the digester into the water then one thing to notice with these, uh, let's these forward, is that the, the 
pipe that goes from with the gas is going to the bottom of the water and then at the top the one that comes out is just in the top of the lid so the gas is going to come out of here bubble through and then come out of there and again it goes into the bottom of the cat litter the, the, the dehydrator and comes out of the top and the same again it always goes into the bottom and then it comes out from just uh, really close to the top and then out from here into the gas bag there you go okay so in summary there's three steps one is removing the carbon dioxide with the water two is removing the water with the dehydration which is the cat litter or a silica gel and number three is removing the hydrogen sulfide with the wire wool so we've got some more biogas stuff hopefully coming up soon um, the temperature is starting to raise here we're getting out of winter into spring so we can get the biogas digester up and running properly i hope this time so we've got that coming up and more stuff with the the straw bale shed but if you want to know more about anything else that i've done then you can check out well i've got my biogas videos up here um, any more questions anything that needs more explaining let me know i'm hoping to get into compressing the gas which is going to be um, interesting i'm going to do some kind of raspberry pi controlled um, gas compression system but that will that'll be coming probably in the summer otherwise yeah if you've got any other video ideas let me know if you're not subscribed already and you like what you've seen please just um, click that subscribe button underneath there and if you do i'll see you on the next one